Hey, this is Dave from Unipro, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to grow your business using Facebook Reels. Specifically, we're gonna answer three important questions. First question is, do you even need to be using Facebook Reels for your business? Second is, what are the best practices in creating effective Facebook Reels? And third is, how do you use Facebook Reels to actually get more customers and clients and make more money? So that's what we're gonna cover. Let's dive in. So you probably noticed that short form video content has taken over social media. TikTok really pioneered the way, YouTube's jumped on board, Instagram, and now Facebook with Facebook Reels. And maybe you're left wondering, is this something that I need to be doing? Is this actually gonna help me grow my business? And you might hear some advice from people who say, yeah, you need to be everywhere. Create a piece of content and then post it on every single social media platform. Personally, I strongly disagree. If you're not interested in using Facebook, if you're never on the platform and you don't wanna use it, repurposing some of your TikToks and posting those as Facebook Reels probably isn't going to help you grow your business. Instead, what I always recommend to people is pick one or two social media platforms that you really enjoy being on and then be awesome on those. I'm doing awesome. And if Facebook is one of those platforms for you, it certainly is for me, then this video is really gonna help you understand how to use Facebook Reels to dramatically grow your business. So there's three important questions that we're gonna answer. And the first one is, for your business, does it make sense to be creating Facebook Reels? I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you a notification that I got from Facebook. You see, when Facebook comes out with a new feature, it's really important to be an early adopter. Facebook wants people to adopt their new features. And when you do that, when you use Facebook's new tools and new features, Facebook rewards you. Let me show you what this notification is telling me what to do to keep my audience growing and to keep my engagement growing. And notice it says, keep up the momentum, try some of these tips. And this is very telling. It says, use a variety of post types like reels, stories, live videos, and more. And this isn't just a random order that it gives here. Reels are the newest feature that Facebook is really wanting to push. It wants people to adopt using Facebook Reels. It used to be stories were the last big thing that if you started using stories, Facebook was gonna reward you. And before stories, guess what it was? It was live video. Facebook wanted everyone doing live video. And as people start doing more and more live video, Facebook introduced a new feature and it wants people to adopt that. And now the feature is Facebook Reels. And one thing is for certain, when you do what Facebook wants, Facebook rewards you. Your content is gonna be seen by more people. We're gonna help you get more engagement. We're gonna help you grow your business. So if you're wondering if you should be using Facebook Reels to grow your business, I'd say the answer is yes, I'm all in. Facebook tells me to do something and I say I'm gonna do it because I want Facebook to be giving me that advantage. I want it to be helping me grow my business. So that's question number one. Question number two is, what are some of the best practices for creating Facebook Reels? Let's say you're gonna start creating Facebook Reels. What should you be doing? Well, I'm gonna start with some basics. I'm gonna go over to one of my Facebook Reels here. And the first thing that you'll notice if you've never created a Facebook Reel is that it needs to be in a vertical format. So the best size when you're recording a Facebook Reel or when you're editing it, and we'll get to editing in just a second, you want it to be 1,080 pixels wide by 1,920 pixels tall. And that's gonna give you a video that looks something like that. So that's the first thing is you want it to be in a vertical format. Second, it has to be under 60 seconds. In order for you to post a Facebook Reel, it has to be less than 60 seconds. And then the third thing to think about is you wanna have a title, a description, and tags. And you can see mine down here, the title is Find Loads of Leads Using Chat, GPT, and Facebook. And then there's a little bit of a description explaining why this Reel is gonna benefit someone. And then I put in a couple tags. Now for tags, I recommend having two to three tags. This can help with the algorithm, helping Facebook understand what this video is about. So in this case, it's about Facebook marketing, it's about lead generation, and it's about chat GPT. So I'd recommend you do the same. Give it a title, a description, and then a few tags to help out the Facebook algorithm. So those are the basics, but what about from a strategy standpoint? How do you make it effective? Well, let's go over. I'm going to go back to my screen here, and I'm going to go over to Camtasia. And Camtasia is actually where I edit my Facebook Reels. So for me, we're going to talk about this. We're going to talk about uploading in just a second. For me, I like to record the Facebook Reel, and then I actually edit it on my desktop. So I'm over in Camtasia here, and one of the strategic things that you're going to want to do is in the first three to five seconds, be very clear as to what's in it for me, what's in it for the viewer. So I'll show you this example here. And this is the one where I'm talking about getting leads using Facebook and chat GPT. You'll see here, if you take a look at what's on my screen, it says Facebook plus chat GPT. And then here I'm talking about what the video is going to include. And it says, I'm going to show you a way to get a ton of leads using Facebook and chat GPT. And notice that right here, it says, lead generation. This is what's in it for you as the viewer. So you need to hook your viewer in that first three to five seconds. 
Number two, you need to deliver some sort of win. So in this case, I'm teaching something. People are gonna come away in 60 seconds and they're gonna have learned a new marketing tactic. And maybe that's you, maybe you're demonstrating something, you're teaching something. People need to come away and say, oh, I really learned something specific from that video. Maybe it's an entertaining video and you wanna make people laugh or maybe you wanna stir up an emotion or you wanna affirm their belief. Whatever it is, the goal is that in 60 seconds, people need to clearly come away saying, oh, I gain value by watching that 60 second video. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna keep people on your reel for longer. And as Facebook sees that people are watching a greater percentage of your reel, it's gonna say, hey, this reel is adding value. Let's show it to more people. That's number two. Number three, you wanna make it impossible for someone to leave your reel without understanding clearly what it is that they got. So you're making sure they get a win, but you also wanna make sure they understand what the win was that they got. I'm gonna show you an example here. So you see, again, in my intro, I'm telling people we're gonna use Facebook and chat GPT and we're gonna generate leads. And then I go into a lot of demonstration. So for me, this is demonstrating a strategy on my computer. And so you can see my cursor's moving around and I'm demonstrating how to use chat GPT. And your reels might be very different from this, but I wanna point something out. Notice that I'm using some captions and I have captions at the end reminding people what it was that they just got. And so in this case, I show that we're accumulating people, leads in this case, and that these people are my perfect leads. And that's what I just taught the viewers who watched the full 60 seconds of this reel. They learned how to accumulate leads who are their perfect leads. That's the win. It's impossible for them to leave this video without understanding that's the value that they got. Now for yours, you can use subtitles like this to make sure people understand what it is that they got. Maybe you can use sounds, you can use music, you can use the script that you're using on this video to ensure that people walk away and it's very clear the value that they got. So what do you do after you record this 60 second video? Well, you can record directly from your phone. And if you go over to your Facebook app and you'll see when you go to create a new post, there's an option right there. There's a red button and it says to create a reel. And then you can edit it right in the Facebook app and then upload it directly from your phone. You can do that. I don't like to do that. I like to have full control and a lot more editing options, hence why I'm editing in Camtasia here. So for me in this case, I need to take this video from my desktop and somehow get it over to my mobile device because you can't upload a reel directly from your desktop. So let me show you how I do this. I take my reel and I upload it to Google Drive. And you can see in Google Drive here, I actually have a folder and it's called Reels. And I just temporarily upload these files to this folder. Then what I can do is on my phone, I can open up Google Drive and there's the reel. It's easy for me to find it. And now I have that file on my phone and I can upload it from my phone directly onto the Facebook platform using the Facebook app. That's how I get it from my desktop onto my phone and then upload it as a Facebook reel. So that just covered the basics of creating your reels and getting them on Facebook, but how are you actually gonna use these to grow your business? Well, I'm gonna go back to an example of one of my Facebook reels here and I'm gonna go and take a look at the comment section with you here. And what you're gonna notice is that, let me just open this up. I'm gonna take a look at all comments. What you're gonna notice, because I gave people some value, I made sure it was clear what's in it for them, I gave them some value and I made sure that they understood the value that they got, what's the result? Well, people come back and they're grateful. Let's take a look at some of these comments. Thank you for sharing, thanks for sharing, mind blown, genius, so cool. And what this is doing is, is establishing me as an authority. And you can do the exact same thing. You create a reel, you give some value, make sure it's very clear the value you're giving, and now people start to see you as an authority. Remember, Facebook told us it wants us to be creating reels. And so when you create these reels, you're gonna get some big reach, you're gonna get a lot of impressions, you're gonna get a lot of people seeing these reels, and this is an opportunity for you to build your authority. As we go through here, I just wanna show you some of these comments. People start asking questions about ChatGPT. And then we get into some questions like that from Jennifer here who are asking for more help. And you can just imagine if I was a business coach or I had a course or something to sell, this is a great lead who's saying, hey, this is awesome. I'd like more, can you help me please? And the same can be true for you and your Facebook Reels. That's one benefit, building your authority and finding leads. Now you can also benefit because using a Facebook Reel is gonna allow you to get more followers who are gonna see your future content. Let me show you. I'm gonna go over to my profile here and I'm gonna click on these three dots and I'm gonna to go to what's called my activity log. And then when I go over to my activity log, I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna click on connections. And what this is doing is finding all the new connections that I've made on Facebook over the last number of days. From here, I'm gonna go down to followers. Now, Facebook Reels are amazing at generating new followers. People see a little win, they see something cool from you and they say, oh, I don't wanna miss future content like this. And so they click on the follow button. And just take a look, we're just gonna scroll through the last couple of days. Notice these are all people who are proactively following me. 
They're choosing to follow me because they wanna see more of my content. And the same is true for you. As you start putting out reels, knowing that Facebook is gonna show your reels to many people, you start delivering those wins, you give the what's in it for me, people are gonna start following you. Well, what's the result from that? The more followers you get, the more people you have who can see your other pieces of content. Let me show you that as well. I'm gonna go back to my profile here and I'm gonna show you a piece of content that I strategically posted in between two reels. Let's go take a look here. You'll see this is the reel we were just looking at. This is a piece of content directly before that reel that came directly after another reel. And so this is a little bit of a high level ninja tactic here, knowing that Facebook's gonna love that reel, put another piece of content after that reel that I wanna stir up some engagement on and then sandwich that with another reel. And so I know that Facebook is taking all these reels, generating followers for me, and my algorithm is getting hotter and hotter and hotter. So my piece of content in between those two reels is gonna get a lot of views. Let's go take a look. Let's go take a look at this piece of content. It says, easy choices, hard life, hard choices, easy life. Is this true? The simplest post, I put no work into this at all, and you can see 115 likes so far and 77 comments. This is pulling out all the people who have started following me, and it's getting them into conversation. So now that opens up all kinds of opportunities. I can reply to their comments, I can hit them up in the DMs, I can start conversations to find out what help they might need and turn these leads into paying clients. And this is exactly what you can do as well. Now, full transparency, I do automate all of this, all the lead gen and the nurturing. I use a tool that's called Unipro. And if you've never seen Unipro before, you definitely have to check it out. If you go over to unipro.com, you can take a look and see exactly what it does. It does all my lead generation for me, nurturing, sales, does everything on Facebook for me. It's an amazing tool. It's been a game changer for my business. I know it will be for you as well. So go check that out at unipro.com. This video was valuable. If you got anything from this video, just give it a like. And if you have comments or questions about using Facebook Reels specifically to grow your business, go ahead and post those below. I'm happy to help out. Again, if you haven't checked out Unipro, go over to unipro.com. I know you're gonna love it. That's it for this video. Can't wait to see you in the next video.